Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and I'm your guide for everything Chinese medicine. And I set all up so us Westerners can figure it out. Now today we're kind of staying on the whole pop culture thing. And uh, since I just did the, um, come here brain, X-Men and Brotherhood of Mutants, um, let's, pop over, let's pop back over to DC and talk about the Justice League and kind of how they would be elementally composed. Now, like I said before, there are several different incarnations, several different versions of those incarnations, because multiverse... Anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to be talking about is primarily the one from the animated uh, show uh, that was on, at least here in the U.S., called the WB Network, uh, late 90s into the early noughties and uh, headed up primarily by Superman, okay? So, before we launch into the Justice League, let's do kind of a little introduction with the big blue Boy Scout himself. Now, this Superman is uh, your classic Superman. This is long before Injustice. This is long before Snyder got his, meat, got his mitts on him and made him all emo. Anyway, uh, he embodies hope. Uh, one of the major themes of his stories is hope, that you're never screwed. There's always a way through. We can always find a solution, okay? No matter how bad it is. That's one of the reasons why Metropolis is always bright and happy, even when some horrendous things are going down there's still the light of hope. Okay, so, with that out of the way, uh, as I said before in uh, my Blue Lantern video, hope is akin to faith, which is nestled very, very nicely in the kidney. It's the virtue of the kidney. So, it makes sense that Superman's uniform would be primarily blue. Now he's always reaching out and doing things and helping as many people as he can. Red cape, red shorts, red boots, red S on his shirt, hooray. Now, uh, he's also got a lot of, hey man, let me help you, okay? Let me build you up. Let me give you something, okay? That's very, very Earth. That's, so it makes sense that the background field of the red S on his shirt would be yellow which is the color of Earth, okay? So, with all of that in mind, let's look at his team, the Justice League, which is basically all of the good guys eventually, okay? Uh, even a lot of really, really no-name heroes, um, second-string heroes, and um, the other big names, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, etc. Okay? I should do some videos on them, too. Anyway, uh, again, the Justice League is about hope. Okay? So, lots of water in there, just flooded. They're all about fixing things. They're about repairing things. They're not like the X-Men. Okay? So the X-Men go out, da -ba 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 -ba, and then, bye! Okay? Ha-ha! Okay, whereas the Justice League is, uh, is, oh no, bad guy attacking, go beat him up, ah crap, we destroyed a building, well, let's go fix it guys, come on now. And they make repairs, they actually see to the wounded, they get civilians out of the way rather than, I'm busy, slash, 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 okay. So, big difference there, all right. Uh, Justice League also, in the classical incarnation of it, has a very respected building. Uh, it's called Hall of Justice. Uh, various versions of that. It's in D.C., New York, Smallville, Metropolis, uh, various places. Um, and it has a link in there that uh, various members can get to. Uh, the thing called the Watchtower, which is, in various incarnations, either a base in an undisclosed location somewhere on Earth, the Moon, or an asteroid that 
someone towed into a near Earth or a near Earth orbit to make a quasi um, natural satellite, or it's a space station. Okay, that's either completely artificially built, or it is on the asteroid and stands there. Anyway, uh, that stands is their base of operations. Uh, they can sleep there, they can recuperate there, they can do research there, they can um, imprison the bad guys there, and everybody's happy. Okay? So, what does that have to do with anything? Well, they're way up above. Okay? That we, so far up above, we can't see them. Also, the base, like the X-Men, is very, very metallic. Because, well, usually in space, what else are you going to build it out of? Sticks? Come on now. Okay? So that gives them a base of operations made out of metal. That's two elements associated. Because they spread out and do stuff, that's wood. Okay? They are also a combative force. There is no, you know, let's sit down and talk about this diplomatically. It's, oh, you're doing something bad, punch, punch, punch. Okay? Laser beams. Uh, also, because only the people that are associated with the team can get into the base, that's metal. It's secretive. It is cut off. Okay? Now, they've got friends that are regular run-of-the-mill people-ish down on Earth and across the galaxy, but they're not necessarily, my nose is itching like crazy, allowed inside the base. Okay? That's metal. They're cut off. Okay? So primarily water. Um, they've got some wood, and they've also got some metal in there. How about the fire that is exemplified by Superman? The spreading out and going places and meeting and talking to people. They've got a little bit because they are in the public eye. Uh, people know about them. They do press conferences. Uh, they do meet and greets, all of that stuff. That's very fire-oriented. There's not as much of it as there is with the wood element, with the combative wood. So, I would say that's third level, okay? And Earth is kind of the same par there, okay? Uh, well, they do help people out, they do nurture things and all of that. It's not their primary goal. Um, they will nurture a young hero and teach them how to do things, teach them what it means to be uh, something of a savior of humanity without being a jerk about it and all of this. It's not their primary place, okay? So, um, wrap this up. Uh, Justice League, primarily water with a bunch of wood in with it and some metal kind of sort of around that too and then a little bit of fire, kind of a small amount of earth and all wrapped up into a nice pretty package. Now, the several, the different incarnations of the Justice League, uh, one of the notable ones comes out of Young Justice and I'm going to do a separate video on the Young Justice team because it's kind of a sort of near embodiment of the quasi classical justice league and i'll do that later so all right guys uh, if you're new to the channel hit that big red subscribe button down below don't forget to leave a like leave a comment and yes i'm still in the process of moving um by the time this goes live i might actually be in my new house we'll see okay um if you want to see something specific I uh, want to kind of get my take on that from a Chinese element perspective. Whatever pop culture you want it to be. Uh, it can be sci-fi, it can be fantasy. Uh, any property. Go nuts. If I know about it and I can reasonably do it, no request will be denied. Feel free to leave that in the comments. Okay? Uh, I'll talk to you later, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.